Hello children, welcome to NEET AAPMT Foundation Biology Online Classes. This is uh, Plant Breeding and Crop Improvement Part 2. So here um, in the last session we have discussed what is plant breeding and uh, some methods, what are the techniques involved in the crop improvement introduction we have completed and we have started the methods of uh, plant breeding first one introduction ok. So, in this session we are going to study in deep. So, what is plant breeding children? Plant breeding is the genetic improvement of crops in order to create desired varieties of plant types that are better suited for cultivation and uh, give better yields and are resistant to diseases ok. These are called the desired characters that is uh, better suited for cultivation, give better yield and disease resistance ok. So, there are several steps involved in this plant breeding ok. So, every method of uh, crop improvement uh, or every method of plant breeding has its own uh, uh, steps of uh, or techniques ok. Let us study first introduction. So, introduction as a crop improvement method. Even in modern days, introduction is a major method of crop improvement, where a new species of a crop or a crop itself or a variety of crop are deliberately introduced in a new area. In introduction of potato, for example, we ended the yesterday's session with uh, the potato introduction of potato in India. Okay, in introduction of potato, the crop itself was uh, new to India. A new species of cotton was introduced to India along with the conventionally grown cotton species. Okay. So, examples for this introduction potato, cotton. Introduction brings in uh, new potentialities of crop production. Then before introduction quarantine as I told you what is quarantine? The process of observation of aligned material acclimatization this is another term which we come across whenever we are introducing a new. It is a process of adjustment by the crop plants to new environment ok. The adjustment of individual to their environment by means of special structures or of uh, function, special function is called adaptation ok. First acclimatization, during acclimatization they adapt to the new environment ok. So, this uh, the adaptation to the new environment uh, is uh, one of the important characteristic feature as early selection is the next method. So, before going to the selection let us uh, try to understand what is adaptation. Adaptation means uh, uh, the environmental conditions which are uh, suitable. So, for those conditions uh, these uh, plants uh, develop some new characters that is called uh, adaptation ok. Selection. The second method is uh, selection. It is a process of selective improvement of a crop in selection a plant is selected based on its uh, genotypic and phenotypic characters ok. In selection a plant is selected based on its uh, genotypic and phenotypic characters in order to improve some of its characters in its uh, new generation ok. Natural selections natural selections have occurred in many crops, where some characters were retained and some other rejected ok. So, nature itself we have uh, nature itself selects the better species ok. That is why the wild varieties of plants they are well adopted to that area ok. 
okay. So, that is why whenever uh, uh, the newly selected variety is introduced, uh, so they have some of the characters may be retained and some other characters which are not uh, uh, suitable to that uh, particular environment may be rejected. Okay. In the process of agriculture development over hundreds of years, over centuries, the many crops or uh, their varieties were selected in order to improve specific characters in future generations. Okay. Those specific characters are called desired characteristics. The farmers, uh, early scientists, even naturalists have performed the process of selection in many crops. The actual selection process involves selecting a desirable variant among genetically divergent crop and allowing it to reproduce. In order to consolidate and uh, intensify a specific uh, desirable character. Okay. So, the process involves uh, selecting uh, a desirable variant means a desirable variety among the genetically divergent crop. So, particular crop is there in that uh, showing better qualities we have to select. Allow it to reproduce, we have to allow it to reproduce. Why? In order to consolidate and intensify a specific desirable character. Okay. So, the selection may be, it may have to be done over many generations, rejecting the undesirable variants at uh, every stage. Okay. So, every generation some good qualities are produced and some poor qualities are produced. The poor qualities which are produced in the plants uh, in the next generation, so those must be eliminated. Only the good qualities we have to select. Again, they are allowed to breed. Okay. Most of the crops and their varieties are the products of selections made by our ancestors. Okay. This is an ancient method, old method. Okay. They used to do this. In fact, uh, the early history suggests that uh, the cultivated species were evolved from wild species through process of selection. Okay. The present day plants are the produced from the ancestors. Okay. The cultivated plants were evolved from the wild species through the process of uh, selection. The selection of crops and their varieties are made profound impact in improvement of crop in respect of productivity, quality, market acceptance, industrial value and disease control as well as uh, wide adaptability of changing climates, varying climates and soils. Okay. So, selection of the crops and their varieties has a made impact in the improvement of crop, is not it? So, here types of selections if you come to, there are uh, four main types of selections. First one oldest method of selection that is mass selection, then pure line selection, then pedigree method, then uh, bulk method selection. These are the four types of selections. Okay. Let us, uh, the criteria for selection may be different in different crops or different objectives, okay. criteria of selection. The selection is either used singly or in combination with other methods of crop improvement to bring and consolidate desirable characters in the varieties. Okay, it may be applied singly, okay, only method of selection is adopted. Okay. Whereas, sometimes uh, along with other method, for example, hybridization, selection and hybridization together is involved. Why? The impro crop improvement to bring and consolidate the desirable characters, to get more desirable characters in the varieties. So, two methods may be applied at a time. 
it has been widely used in the self pollinated and cross pollinated crops selection is used in, in the self pollinated and cross pollinated crops both in uh, annual and perennial crops annual means only seasonal crop one year perennial means more than one year the crops which are grown okay here the crop criterion for selection and objective is given here the first one rice crop more speculates the criteria of selection we have to select those plants with more speculates panicle that is inflorescence bold spikelets large panicle okay, such type of plants the crop plants can be selected and what is the objective the main objective is increasing yield and if you take cotton the more number of fruits the cotton plant with uh, the plant with bigger size long fiber more maturity of fibers such a type of plants can be selected then what is the main objective increasing the yield quality of fiber the next mango less fiber more sucrose fructose that means more sweetness and a higher pulp ratio uh, such a type of uh, mango plant can be selected the main objective is pulping quality more palatability okay next tomato the more juice thin skin such type of tomato plants can be selected the plants which give such type of fruits the better processing value the main objective coconut if you take bigger nut thicker kernel okay the main objective is higher yield and more oil okay next wheat so higher protein content awareness okay the main uh, objective is better nutritional value easy post harvest process okay so the selection is a criterion we use it to select uh, those plants with the desirable characters okay there are many types of selections adopted in the different crops uh, out of them uh, two are very very important there are mass selection the first one is mass selection the desirable plants are selected purely based on the phenotype and pooled they are allowed to grow in mass in the next generation then further selections are made in 3 to 4 such generations to consolidate desirable characters by ignoring plants with undesirable characters at each selection okay means uh, in this mass selection the plants with desirable characters are selected and uh, they are made breeded means cross uh, they are allowed to breed freely for 3 to 4 generations okay to consolidate the desirable characters by ignoring the plants with undesirable characters every product uh, so we have to eliminate the undesirable character plants and only desirable character plants are allowed to continue the next generation so individual progeny is uh, not tested and propagated this method is generally suitable for highly cross pollinated crops such as maize and this method can be followed by only experienced farmers okay to adopt this method experience is required so maize maize crop is better suited to develop by using which method of uh, plant breeding mass selection okay next pure line selection so out of the selection methods four methods are there no out of which uh, there is mass selection pure line selection pedigree method okay this uh, mass selection pure line selection are uh, well suitable and adopted methods the pure line selection what is pure line selection single plant with uh, desirable characters from genetically divergent population is selected and it is uh, self pollinated so that in the second generation the seeds of individual self plants are sown in separate lines 
the further selections are made the pure line selection k consolidates a particular character and results in substantial improvement of desirable triads this is uh, the method usually followed in self pollinated crops whereas mass selection in cross pollinated crops like maize okay so what is selfing the process of covering the flower or inflorescence the bunch of flowers by paper covers in order to avoid the fertilization by external pollen okay to prevent the uh, cross pollination it can be done this makes only self pollination possible okay breeding so crop improvement crop improvement is uh, uh, deliberated the crop improvement by deliberate attempt to cross uh, two parents of desirable characters to incorporate such characters in the next generations is called uh, plant uh, breeding that crop improvement by deliberate attempt to cross uh, two parents of desirable characters to incorporate such characters in the next generations is called uh, breeding the entire process of pollination fertilization and uh, regeneration is kept under control and selected parents are allowed to reproduce only with uh, pollination from desired plants okay see you know in the life cycle of a plant uh, first uh, the seed germinates to produce the seedling then it grows okay after the growth then it start flowering then the process of pollination then the process of fertilization okay so like that uh, uh, every plant um, flowering plants will show this uh, the pattern of life cycle okay so in this method of breeding what uh, we what the farmer has to do the method involves the entire process of pollination fertilization and regeneration is kept under control and selected parents are allowed to reproduce only with the pollination from desired plants okay from the population of group of plants only selected parents are allowed to reproduce okay so this method is popularly called as crossing the crossing has been extensively used in most pollinated crops cross pollination okay selection and breeding are normally combined to evolve the new varieties and the hybrids of food crops are produced the green revolution in our country was possible mainly because of uh, the release of high yielding varieties and hybrids okay ms swaminathan he introduced the green revolution what is green revolution improvement of food crops enormously okay the main uh, motto of the green revolution is to increase the food production by improving the food crops okay there are three methods of breeding hybridization what are the three methods of breeding hybridization polyploidy or ploidy breeding ploidy breeding mutation breeding okay these are the three methods involved in breeding okay breeding for uh, the improved food quality the breeding crops with high levels of vitamins and minerals or higher proteins and healthier fats is called bio fortification recently we come across this term okay plant breeding for disease resistant a wide range of fungal bacterial and viral pathogens affects the yields of cultivated crop species especially in the tropical climates in this situation the breeding and development of cultivars resistant to disease enhances the food production okay so wheat brassica cauliflower cowpea chili these are all the different crops are there the varieties some of the varieties of those crops resistant to diseases okay 
more we are going to study so read the book children thank you for watching our video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates